hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel good day to you wherever you are watching me from today i come with a very simple recipe you can achieve in just 10 minutes please don't forget to like and share this video as you watch to begin i will sieve in flour to that i will go in with vanilla sugar salt sugar cinnamon and the almighty coriander this coriander spice is a secret to this recipe. If you haven't used it before, try it. You will come back here to give me testimony. So after mixing, I will go in with my melted butter and mix with my hands until a butter is formed. Thank you so much for watching today's video. To my new viewers, please, I appreciate you. Welcome to my channel. Subscribe and let's be friends. And to my returning subscribers, I appreciate you always. After mixing, I will add in water and continue mixing until a dough is formed. Once a dough is formed, I will transfer it to a work surface and knead for 2 to 3 minutes. Firstly, I will sprinkle some flour for easy kneading. Knead your dough properly so that you will get a perfect result at the end of the recipe. Very, very important. So after kneading the dough, make sure that the dough is just like this, so elastic. So the next thing to do now is to roll out the dough. Our today's shout out goes to Glad Diary, a new cooking passion. And my friend from Asia country. Aww. I'm glad that you all love this recipe. Please do tell us where you're watching from so that we'll give you a very big shout out in our next video. Thank you. So finally, after running out the dough, I will now cut the dough into smaller shapes. So here come the magic or the tricks. You can do this with your spatula or your kitchen spoon. I'm making use of these two objects just to tell you that without you having spatula, you can still do it with your kitchen spoon. So get your spatula and get one cutted part of the dough and roll it around as I'm doing in this video. After rolling out to the end, touch some water and touch on the dough to secure the edge so that it will flip open when frying. Look at it. After securing it, gently pull out the dough from the spatula. Gently, gently, and here it goes. Yeah, and that is it. Very simple. So let's try with spoon. But before you try with spoon, make sure you dust the spoon with some flour so that it will be easier when pulling out the dough. So do the same thing with the first one you did in the spatula. Roll it out in the spoon just like this. Just like this. Very simple and easy. Touch some water on the ending part and secure the edge. Gently pull it out. Wow, and that is it. I will repeat it one more time.
Then finally, gently drop them in a low, hot, moderate oil and allow them to fry until it turns golden brown. Take them out from heat and spread on a parchment paper or in a strainer to drain off excess oil. Please don't forget to check the description box where I will list all the ingredients and their measurements. Look at that final result. Just very crunchy and delicious. If you try this recipe, I bet you you will give me testimonies. Look at that. <laughs> Please don't forget to subscribe if today is your first time of coming across my video. Share, like, and drop a lovely comment. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.